The Dukes of Hazard is an American action comedy TV series created by G.Y. Waldron that was aired on CBS from January 26, 1979, to February 8, 1985, which immediately followed the show on CBS's Friday night schedule. The show is about two young male cousins, Bo and Luke Duke, who live in rural Georgia and are on probation for moonshine running. The young men and their friends and their female cousin Daisy Duke, and other family, such as patriarch Uncle Jesse, have various escapades as they evade the corrupt county commissioner Boss Hogg and law officer Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane. The young men drive a customized 1969 Dodge Charger nicknamed the General Lee, which became a symbol of the show. The series was inspired by the 1975 film Moonrunners, about a bootlegger family, which was written and directed by Waldron and had many identical or similar character names and concepts. The show was the basis for a film of the same title in 2005. The Dukes of Hazard follows the adventures of the Duke boys, cousins Bo Duke, John Schneider, and Luke Duke, Tom Wopat, including Coy and Vance Duke for most of season 5, who live on a family farm in fictional Hazard County, Georgia, the exact location of which was never specified, though Atlanta was mentioned several times as the nearest big city, with their female cousin Daisy, Catherine Bach, and their wise old uncle Jesse, Denver Pyle. The Duke boys race around in their customized 1969 Dodge Charger stock car, dubbed the General Lee, evading crooked and corrupt County Commissioner Boss Hogg, Sorrell Book, and his bumbling and corrupt Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane, James Best, along with his deputies, and always managing to get caught in the middle of various local escapades and incidents not allowed to carry firearms, instead, they often use compound bows, sometimes with arrows tipped with dynamite, or to leave Hazard County unless they get probation permission from their probation officer, Boss Hogg. The exact details of their probation terms vary from episode to episode. Sometimes, corrupt county commissioner Jefferson Davis, J.D. Boss, Hogg either runs, or has his fingers in, virtually everything in Hazard County. Hogg is forever angry with the Dukes, especially Bo and Luke due to their habit of foiling his crooked schemes. Many episodes revolve around Hogg's attempts to engage in some such scheme, sometimes with the aid of hired criminal help. Some of these are get-rich-quick schemes, though many others affect the financial security of the Duke farm, which Hogg has long wanted to acquire for various reasons. Other times, Hogg hires role of Boss Hogg was played by Sorrell Book, who performed frequently on radio, stage, and film prior to his role in the Dukes of Hazard? Boss Hogg is one of only two characters to appear in every episode of the series, the other being Uncle Jesse Duke. The other main characters of the show include local mechanic Cooter Davenport, Ben Jones, who in early episodes was portrayed as a wild, unshaven rebel, often breaking or treading on the edge of the law, before settling down to become the Duke family's best friend, he is often referred to as an honorary Duke and owning the local garage. Eno Strait, Sonny Schroyer, is an honest, but naive young deputy who, despite his friendship with the Dukes, and his crush on Daisy, is reluctantly forced to take part in Hogg and Roscoe's crooked schemes. In the third and fourth seasons, when Schroyer left for his own show, his character was replaced by deputy Cletus Hogg, Rick Hurst, boss's cousin, who is slightly more wily than Eno's but still a somewhat reluctant player in Hogg's plots. Owing to their fundamentally good natures, the Dukes often wind up helping Boss Hogg out of trouble, albeit grudgingly. More than once Hogg is targeted by former associates who are either seeking revenge or have double-crossed him after a scheme has unraveled in one way or another.